Hello there, my name is Mar Haddad. Today I'm going to show you how to configure M a multiple spanning tree or MST. So let's go to the lab. You work as a network engineer in a company, you have three switches connected to each other and you would like to check how MST works. So this is our lab. We have layer 3 switch SW1 connected to layer 2 switches SW2 and SW3. This one is 3550, this one 2950, and this one is 2950. So let's check Let's check what is uh, our task. First of all, configure all links on all switches to be trunk. Okay. Um, I have uh, I have the graph in front of me, so I can... Uh, Alright. On SW1, interface file system as 0 over 1. Switch port mode trunk. Switch port trunk encapsulation dot one Q, then switch port mod trunk. Then I go to interface file system as zero over two. Switch port encapsulation switch port trunk encapsulation dot one Q. Switch port mod trunk. If I do show interface fast internet 0 over 1 and then I add switch port or trunk for example and then we can see it's trunk and if I do the same for 0 over 2 also it is trunking alright that's SW1 let's do on SW2 uh, I will do interface range fast internet 0 over 1 until 2 and switch port mode trunk and on SW3 uh, interface range fast internet 0 over 1 until 2 switch port mode trunk so by this we have done the first step second step Configure SW1 to be VTP server with domain name Cisco.local and SW2 and SW3 to be VTP client mode. Okay. So uh, SW1 VTP mode server. Uh, it's already server, of course, by default. Then we have to say VTP, uh, and here I have to specify the domain and cisco.local I go to sw2 vtp mod client and then vtp domain cisco.local vtp domain cisco I'll copy this one VTP mod client and uh, VTP domain Cisco dot local. Alright. Now create the following VLAN on SW1 two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. VLAN 2, VLAN 3, VLAN 4, VLAN 5, VLAN 6, and VLAN 7. So now if I do show VLAN, I see that all of these VLANs have been created. And I had uh, before some VLANs also. Anyway, now ensure that the VLANs have been propagated to SW2 and SW3. So let's check. Show VLAN. Yes, they are here on SW2, SW3. SW3. Show VLAN. Also, they are all here. Okay. Now, configure this, the three switches to have MST mode. So that's spanning three mode. I have to say span 3 mode MST on SW1. 
I'll copy it. MH Spine 3 MHT Spine 3 Mod MHT Now on SW2 it looks like I lost the connection there but I don't know why I lost the connection on SW2 I'll try to uh, That's SW2. So again, spanning three mod MST. All right. So now, if I do show spanning three, you can see that it's MST now. And here also show spanning tree MST show spanning tree MST okay now create MST instance one to have been and two three four and MS MST instance two to have been and five six seven okay here there's a command you can you can say uh, uh, configure terminal spanning tree MST configuration and here you, you have to specify the instance so they said the uh, instance one okay instance one and it has to have the VLAN Two, three, four. So VLAN two, three, four. Um, I think I have to put comma between two, three, four. Yeah. So that's instance one. And uh, instance two. Five six seven. So instance two VLAN five six seven. So if I do also I lost the connection as W one. Okay, let's do it uh, here on. Uh, oh, let's do it on SW three. Uh, spanning three MST configuration and then uh, instance one VLAN uh, two three four and instance two VLAN five six seven the reason why I said to do it on SWC now because SWC is connected to console and those SW1 and SW2 by 10 net. So when I do some changes, so I'm losing the 10 net connection. But the, on the console, I never lose the connection. So now let's do show spanning tree MST configuration. And as you can see here, that uh, uh, the instance one uh, having Two, three, four VLANs and instance two having five, seven, five, six, seven. Um, I go to SW2. Now, if I do show spanning three uh, MST configuration, 
we can see that all VLANs now are into the instance 0 which is the default so now we have to create the instance as it says in the uh, in the lab so here I have to say spanning tree MST configuration and then from here I have to say instance 1 of VLAN 2, 3, 4 and instance 2 VLAN 5, 6, 7 okay um, let's check SW1 shows pine 3 MST configuration all right so as you can see that uh, these instance instances have been created on SW1 so verify that uh, the instances has been created have been created and include the VLAN as requested it's okay now configure SW1 to be a root bridge for instance 0 SW2 root bridge for instance 1 and SW3 for instance 2 so now if I do show spanning 3 MST uh, you can see that uh, um, SW1 is now the root bridge of T TST and IST uh, and uh, if I do show spanning tree MST configuration uh, this one is uh, IST and this one is CST so uh, now they need they need that SW1 to be the root bridge for uh, the instance zero. So to do that, I have to say here as the configure terminal and then uh, and then spanning tree MST zero and here root primary. So now I'm specifying that SW1 will be the root bridge for MST0. Now if I do show spanning tree MST so yeah it is now the root bridge for 0. I go to 2 spanning tree MST1 root before I do that let's let's do show spanning tree MST and you can see here that uh, this one is not uh, mentioned to be uh, the uh, root bridge for any of the MSTs so now if I want to, to make it uh, the root bridge for instance 1 I have to say spanning tree MST 0 uh, MST1 and root primary or oh, we did the root primary let's do it the other way I say priority 4096 so now if I do show spanning tree MST1 you can see that uh, now it's saying that this is the root the switch uh, root bridge of MST1 okay the third step we need to do is to make SW3 the root bridge of MST2 so now if I do show spanning tree MST and detail uh, you can see here that it's not uh, uh, a root bridge for any of the MSTs okay so uh, I go to uh, configure terminal spine 3 MST 
to root primary. So now if I do show spanning tree MST2, you can see that this is the root bridge of MST2. So another meaning what we are doing here is that uh, SW1 will have uh, will be the root bridge of all uh, VLAN except uh, those VLANs. Uh, so uh, uh, Spanning three MST configuration. So SW1 will be the root bridge for all of these VLANs from uh, one and eight. So one eight until four thousand ninety four. Then SW2 will be the root bridge for uh, VLAN 234 and SW3 will be the root bridge of 5, 6 and 7. So uh, this is all the lab about MST. Let's check. Verify that your, your configuration is well done. We just verified. So this is all the lab about MST. I hope you enjoyed it.